A couple years ago, I underwent a profound shift of perspective in my life. It was a spiritual transformation that also had a deep impact on my business. I went from asking the primary question, which is what most business owners ask, is what do I do to build my business? How do I get more viewers? How do I get more subscribers? How do I get more clients and make more money? As the primary and daily question, and then secondarily, therefore, what do I need to do to make others like me more and help them uh, you know, spend more money because my thing is better, etc. Those were the secondary questions. The primary one was what's in it for me, right? That's typically what we hear in business and marketing trainings and books and content. That shifted for me to now it's how can I be of more use to others? How can I be of genuine service to others in a way that they find truly helpful? That is a, see, it's such a big shift because as that as the, as the primary question and then secondarily, if I want to be of true service and genuine use to others, how do I then create content? What kind of product and service should I then create? Uh, how do I then do my marketing? And for me, the reason why I was able to make the shift was because I came to a realization that no matter what happens, I am deeply taken care of. And by the way, I don't have an inheritance. I still have to work for my own, for my own livelihood. So it's not that, it's that I have this profound sense that God, in my opinion, God, you could say the universe, life, will deeply take care of me no matter what, and I believe will take care of you as well. And so from that place of total security, it becomes much easier to be other-centered, other-centric. And what's interesting with this shift to other-centeredness is how can I be of more use to others, is that that gave me the energy to, cre to practice creating content and, and testing out services and products until I became more and more excellent at serving others in a way that they found helpful. And naturally, that had a benefit on my business as well. But it's from that, that primary question that everything arises, which is how can I be of more use to others? And that's where real trust comes in, I think, from our audience. It used to be that I had to keep on persuading them, right? Persuasion is such a common teaching in marketing. I felt like I had to keep persuading my audience to take action, to click something, to opt in, to buy, to persuasion after persuasion. And now that I'm focused on how do I help you truly, trust is really there. And I no longer feel like I have to persuade anymore. And actually what's, what's happened is wonderful is that I don't have to go out and seek clients anymore. They now come to me on their own initiative, which is a, I mean, I'm just incredibly grateful. It's just a beautiful thing. But it took that shift of perspective and therefore the energy to serve others, to keep practicing until I got good enough that the market now trusts me. People now trust me. Perhaps you trust me to be of, of, a, of the heart to help you as best, as best that I can. So I hope that I can be a different uh, example than you see out there with most business and marketing trainers and experts that are always, always telling me, telling you, how do you get more fans? And all, all the focus is always on what's in it for me. And what if we shifted that so that the focus is on how can I be of more use? And I'm just here to say that it really, really works if you allow it enough time. Now, how much time? It depends on each person. 
but if you are able to come to the place knowing that you are taken care of, then maybe the time doesn't matter as much. I hope this is helpful.